Remember, Landon, the line is, good morning, Titans. This is HTTV the movie, take 385. Action. Good morning, people, uh, uh, tight, sorry. Good morning, Titans. Today is Monday, May 15th. You're here with your host, Landon. Please rise for the playing of our national anthem. Good morning, Holy Trinity. Today, we begin with the statement acknowledging the land on which we gather. We acknowledge that the land upon which we gather is traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe nations. We recognize that the Brand Haudenosaunee Norfolk Catholic District School Board and its schools have many ties to the Six Nations of the Grand River and Mississaugas of the Credit First Nations, situated on the traditional land of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe, within the two row wampum and the one dish, one spoon treaty areas. As a Catholic learning community and as treaty people ourselves, we strive to build the kingdom of God, where all people are treated with respect and dignity as we move forward as allies towards truth and reconciliation. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today, I wanted to continue with the, um, just sort of exploring the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Uh, the next one kind of being maybe the fear of the Lord. Uh, so often, um, we sort of think of the fear of the Lord and we're just like, okay, time to be afraid, you know. But um, I think uh, my daughter this morning, uh, we've been waiting for a really long time uh, for, we've put a little bird's nest outside her windows, and she just is convinced that they show up when she's sleeping. Um, but today, she saw them for the first time out her window, and she just got super excited and just wouldn't stop talking about it. And I think when we relate with fear of the Lord, I think a lot of times it's just this awe and wonder at life. It's kind of a reminder that, um, God created this world, the beautiful, the beautiful world we live in, and we're sort of recognizing pieces of him all around, just the awe of his greatness. You know, so fear of the Lord is not necessarily being afraid of him, especially since in Scripture, so often it says, do not be afraid. You know, but it's just in recognizing that God is so powerful, yet he chooses to love us. You know, that is quite the gift, to be able to look at everything around us with joy, with excitement, especially with that, the eyes of a young child. Uh, so if you want to join me today, we'll just sort of pray for an openness to just recognizing God's awe and wonder. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, we thank you so much for all the gifts that you give us, especially the ones that go unnoticed on a regular basis. Thank you for the beautiful weather that we're experiencing uh, last week and, and this week. We just pray that we can recognize you as we are able to venture outside during lunch, while we walk home while we hang out outside, as we sign up for uh, outdoor sports. God, we recognize the beauty in your creation. We recognize the amazing power that you have. Not something to, to run away from in fear, but to recognize your power. God, we pray that we, uh, we, we ask for that outpouring of that power into our own lives, recognizing that uh, we have access to your greatness we just pray that we can continually grow in a relationship with you and be open to where it is that you're calling us to use our gifts and our talents, especially those gifts of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
525,000, 600 minutes. If you know this song and are interested in attending Wednesday's trip to Stratford, and you are a former music or drama student, Mrs. Townsend has a few extra tickets available. Please find her on the stage at lunch for a permission form to buy a ticket for Wednesday's show. Attention girls rugby team, please meet in the gym at 3.10 p.m. to travel to Brantford for your semifinal game. If you're not attending and have not let anyone know yet, please let one of your coaches know before 3 p.m. Thank you. Good luck, Titans. Today at the CAF, their specials are mac and cheese, broccoli and cheddar soup, and finally, French toast. Have a great day, and now over to Jelaine from Prom Committee. Good morning, Holy Trinity. It's Jelaine here, and thank you to everyone who submitted their promposals to our Instagram page. Now, as promised, we will be drawing the name of our winner from this hat. So, and it is... <laughs> Cora Carothers. So uh, make sure to see Ms. Hansen tomorrow to claim your refunded tickets. On behalf of Prom Committee, we thank all those who participated and hope to see you all at Prom. Okay, good morning, Titans. Uh, congratulations, Cora. Just a couple of announcements, and they're on the back on a sticky note on my cup, so that's why I'm staring at my cup. Um, today is the final day to buy dance tickets for the Glow Dance. Uh, this is a great event because all money raised goes back to help uh, our community. It's donated to the United Way. So if you haven't picked up that ticket yet, please make sure you get it today at lunch. It's the final day of sales. And um, on Thursday and Friday of last week, we had many athletes participating in uh, track and field. I Stay tuned for the rest of the week. We will be getting those official results. I hear that we did great, but I don't have all the official results yet. So congratulations to all those athletes, and stay tuned this week for uh, more updates on track and field. That's all from us Titans. Now over to a promo.